Okay, guys, great. Good morning. Hello, greetings. I am Loren Cunningham Hammond, and I am one of the trainers here at National General Accident and Health. And today we're going to be going over several different topics. So in between each section, when I get ready to start anew, um, I will be answering your questions. So let's just go ahead and get it going, guys. So our first topic of discussion is the critical illness term life policies. So we're going to go over why a critical illness term life, the plan options, the plan details, as well as agent and member resources. Now, what I would like to do is kind of hold that uh, agent and member resources towards the end. So then if you have questions, please, by all means. So why a critical illness term life? Well, unfortunately, each year, 530,000 Americans declare personal bankruptcy due to medical bills. Every 40 seconds, an American will have a heart attack. Over 1.8 million Americans will be diagnosed with some type of cancer in 2020 alone, as well as 2021. So the critical illness term life is going to reduce the financial impact of a critical illness for both clients and their families. This is going to provide the client with a critical illness benefit as well as a term life benefit. Now, please note, we can also write that term life policy as a standalone by itself. So clients are going to receive a lump sum payment. Now it is for 15 critical illnesses. Now the illnesses have to be within the policy parameters. Yes, I know that's a simple concept, but we do have a lot of questions. So it has to be within the parameters of the policy and it has to be all policies or excuse me, all persons named within the policy. We are going to pay the top of the benefit uh, from any of the plans. So the benefit levels can range from 25,000 up to 100,000. So you and your insured are gonna discuss what is going to best suit their needs. And then of course, you're going to write the policy accordingly. Now, please note there is no network restrictions, no deductibles, no co-insurance, no co-pays and no pre-authorization is required. So we're gonna kind of go over the benefits and then the covered conditions. And again, I know, I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, guys, but these are the benefits that the plan is going to cover. So it has to fall within the guidelines or the perimeters. So on the critical illness benefit levels, we offer 25,000, 30,000, 50,000, 75,000, and 100,000. Now the term life benefit is going to match 100% of that critical illness benefit. Now payable up to age 85 on that term life. <clears throat> now please note, it is a 10 year term. The full critical illness benefit is paid in the event of. Now, if you would like a copy of this presentation at any time, I will provide you with my email address at the end and you can email me and I'll be more than happy to send it out. But please note, they have to fall as these illnesses. So invasive cancers, heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, coma, blindness, deafness, or uh, major organ transplant, paralysis, loss of a limb, or major burns. And again, if they don't fall in this perimeter, it is not going to be a covered benefit. So it has to fall within this perimeter. Covered conditions. So 25% of the critical illness benefits are paid in the event of a coronary artery bypass graft, a non-invasive cancer, advanced Alzheimer's disease, and then a heart valve surgery. Now, after that 25% is paid, the remaining benefit of 75% will remain. 
So again, 25% for the critical illness benefits paid for those four set conditions. So let's look at Kent here. Unfortunately, Kent has had, had a time. He purchased a 50,000 critical illness uh, term life policy. Three years later, he was diagnosed with early stage prostate cancer. Five years after his cancer diagnosis, he had a heart attack. So early stage cancer, remember 25% of the face amount, which was 12,500 and the remaining balance of 75%. So that heart attack was in that 75%. So he received the balance of the policy, which was 37,500 with the total payment of $50,000. So we're going to talk about eligibility, state availability, some limitations and exclusions. And again, we're going to go through some of the enrollment stuff. So the primary applicant on this particular policy needs to be between the ages of 18 and 59 at the time of application. Spouses can be covered on the same policy with the primary. Unfortunately, no child dependent coverage and no child only policies. The critical illness is renewable up to age 65. The term life is renewable up to age 85. Now, please note there is a health questionnaire for the, this particular critical illness policy. Available states are as follows. If you'd like a print screen, please do. Or again, I will show you my email address and you guys can email me and I will be more than happy to send you over a copy of this presentation. So some of the limitations on the critical illness policy. Now, again, if you need a more detailed description, you can go to our website, click on the brochure um, for a particular product and it goes into more extensive details. But for the sake of the presentation, we've kind of kept it simple. So pre-existing conditions, cancer first diagnosed within 90 days, sickness first diagnosed within 30 days, war or any act of war, mental illness, illegal acts. So if someone kind of sort of like, you know, was trying to rob a bank, unfortunately, and um, drove the getaway car and got um, had a heart attack while they were in the process of that illegal act. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a covered benefit. Hazardous occupations. So someone that works for the bomb disposal squad. Unfortunately, no, sorry guys. Aviation. Now, if you are a passenger on said plane, that's another story. Um, Complications of cosmetic surgeries. Okay, guys, any questions? Okay, so let's look at our cancer, heart, and stroke policies here. So again, we're going to go why over a cancer, heart, and stroke, the plan options, the plan details, as well as some of the agent member resources. And again, that's gonna be held towards the end. So over 1.8 million Americans will be diagnosed with some type of cancer in 2020. Every 40 seconds, an American has a heart attack. More than 790,000 Americans have a stroke annually. For those 140,000 strokes are fatal. So with the cancer, heart, and stroke policy, clients are going to receive a lump sum cash payment. This is for the first ever diagnosis of cancer, heart attack, or stroke. Now, please note, if you have a uh, client who has been in remission for cancer, say 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, unfortunately, they are not going to be able to utilize this portion of the policy but they could use the heart attack and or stroke. Remember, it's first diagnosis in any of these categories, cancer, heart attack, 
stroke. We're going to pay on top of the benefits that they may have with any other plan. So benefit levels range from 25,000 to 75,000. And again, there's no network restrictions. So we're gonna go over the benefit here. So we have four benefit levels. We have 25,000, 30,000, 50,000, and 75,000. So a cash benefit can be used in any way that the customer sees fit. These are going to be paid directly for any and all covered persons on the policy. Yes, this is something that I have to point out. If you have a household of five people and only two people are on that policy, husband and wife, the only um, persons that are covered are those named on the policy. Yes, you can shake your head, but this has been a question that's come up a lot lately. So covered conditions, 100% of the selected benefit amount is paid again for that first ever diagnosis. Life-threatening cancer, coronary artery disease or cardiac arrhythmia resulting in a heart attack, cerebral disease resulting in a stroke. So again, guys, if you have uh, someone that has had a prior cancer, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Unfortunately, they've already been diagnosed or again, that heart condition, the heart attack or even the stroke. So if you have an insured that has had one or two of these, you may wanna consider a different type of policy. Cause again, it's first time ever. I actually had an, um, an agent reach out to me and ask, well, I have an insured that had breast cancer 10 years ago um, six years ago, she had a different occurrence in her other breast. So does this qualify as her first time ever diagnosis? Well, no, unfortunately, it'll go all the way back to the original diagnosis. So covered conditions, 25% of the selected benefit amount is paid again for that first first ever diagnosis of that coronary artery disease or cardiac arrhythmia resulting in a coronary bypass. So if you have someone that's had a quadruple bypass, double bypass, triple bypass, unfortunately, it's not going to be a covered benefit in the going forward. 10% of the selected benefit amount is paid for the first time ever diagnosis of coronary artery disease resulting in a coronary, coronary <laughs> angioplasty. After the partial is paid, the remaining percentage of the benefit remains. So again, if they've had 25% paid out, then the remaining 75%, but it's only the first time occurrence, guys. So let's look at Oscar here. Oscar went in for a routine checkup and he finds out he has colon cancer. He has a $50,000 cancer heart and stroke plan. The cancer heart and stroke plan that he took out was again, $50,000. The treatment cost for that colon cancer was $14,019. That heart attack and stroke paid $50,000. So the remaining cash benefit, because remember there's only a percentage, was $35,981. So eligibility states, Wayne, that's a great question. Let me get through this because we're also going to go into the eligibility as well as the states and some of those limitations, but that's a really, really great, great. Um, let me write down your information, Wayne, and I will email you that presentation. So again, sorry guys, eligibility, state availability, as well as the limitations and exclusions. So the primary applicant and or the spouse 
must be between the ages of 18 to 64 at the time of application. Dependent child coverage is available, but unfortunately we do not have a child only policy. These policies are renewable up to age 75. Now, please note, this is going to require applicants to fill out a health history questionnaire. Available states. Now, some limitations and exclusions, please note. 24 month pre-existing conditions cancer first diagnosis within 90 days for the following states, first 60 days in the state of Alabama, and the first 30 days within the according states. The heart attack or stroke occurs within the first 30 days, and of course, illegal drug use. Now, please note, again, if you need a copy of the particular, like the complete exclusions by going to our website, nationalgeneral.natgenhealth.com, and you click on the actual product, you can download the um, brochure and it'll give you the full details of the exclusions and limitations. So if there's any more questions on that section. So let me go through the term life policy. So this is a standalone. So we're going to go through the plan design, the eligibility, the enrollment, and then again, that other sales stuff that I wanted to point out for you. So why a term life policy? Well, you're providing peace of mind to your insured. We're going to cover everyday expenses after the loss of income. This is going to potentially help pay off your insurance mortgage or even college tuition. You're going to be providing a financial peace of mind during those child rearing years in the event there is a death with that and you have an active term life policy. So the benefit levels that we offer are 20,000, 25,000, 30,000, 50,000, 75,000, and $100,000 policy. Of course, you're going to work with your insured and find out what their particular needs are. So again, this is a very budget-friendly policy. Now, limitations and exclusions are going to be hazardous activities, self-inflicted, Time uh, in the armed forces, act of war. Um, this is a 10 year term life policy. It is a guaranteed rate for five years. Now, like all of our products, we also have the life association built into the plans. Now the life association, depending on the state, could be automatically built in, or it could be an additional benefit that is purchased by your insured at the time of application. Some of the great options is that telemed for life. This is where you can connect with a physician via the phone or video chat at any time. There's unlimited consultations with no extra charge. So my husband, utilized his telemed that is attached to his particular um, health insurance policy. He didn't realize that there was a $45 copay on top of him paying for his regular benefits. So the Life Association built in, this telemed has no additional fees or um, copays. It's all built in. Hospital negotiation services. We also have direct lab services, so you will receive a hefty discount. Family benefits clues, fitness discounts, identity theft, auto discounts, enrollment. So this is travel services, retail stores, dining, entertainment. So like those movie theater tickets, for example. Now, this is the term life policy states, which the policy can be written in currently. 
Now, the primary applicant must be between the ages of 18 to 64 at the time of application. Dependent coverage is not available and nor do we have a child only policy. So any of our products here at National General can be written between the first and the 31st of the month. So if Wayne wanted to write me a policy effective tomorrow, he can do that. The initial payment has to be uh, withdrawn any date between the time of the application and before the effective date. Reoccurring payments are the fifth, uh, five days before the monthly anniversary of the effective date. So if Wayne were to write me a policy effective tomorrow, the 17th, Going forward, my monthly anniversary is the 12th of the month. So going forward, payment would be withdrawn on the 12th of the month. Forms of acceptable payment are EFT, so that checking or savings account, a Visa, MasterCard, or Discover card. So resources. Now these are for you, the agents, as well as you can educate your client, our new members. So if you go to our webpage at natgenhealth.com, this is our actual page. If you click on the agent and brokers tab, you will see the four following dropdowns. So we have the agent tools and information. This is going to support your business. And this is where you can go to click to start your actual quote. You can also check out our YouTube page, which has quite a few updated um, videos, excuse me, I just went blank there, uh, several new videos, and then any and all product updates are actually put on there as well. But if you need a refresher course, you can go to our YouTube page, explore our coverage, working with National General, and my favorite tab of all of these is the marketing. This is where you can, you the agent can click on the plan brochures, get those detailed exclusions and limitations list, flyers, trifolds. Trifolds are my favorite because it is a PDF that you have downloaded and you can actually personalize it to you and your particular agency. Print it out and present it with your other documentation to your insureds. Member resources, so you as the agent, you can do this stuff for your insureds or you can educate them. Any and all doctors or network searches can be found in the existing customers. So any of our products, the short-term medical, the dental, you can find that information here. The insured can view their general policy documents as well as submitting a claim or your insured can go to my Nat Gen Health, or excuse me, mynatgen.com, and this is where they can view those policies. Now, the beautiful thing about the policies is this is where they can update, change any of their mailing if they need to update or um, their billing information, as well as ID cards. So this is the member portal and this is what it looks like. So when you've completed an application with your insured and they receive the email to go in and authorize everything, view everything, this is the access link. So my Nat Gen Health, they're going to create their password. And again, this is a great area for them to go back and view those policy docs, get that ID card. So really quick cap here, guys. Critical illness, lump sum cash payment, 15 eligible conditions, term life insurance. This is a wide benefit range. They're going to pick any hospital, any doctor available in a large number of states. So why National General? Well, we have roots to go all the way back to 1939. We have been given an A plus rating just recently, I might add, by AM Bass. We specialize in both short term medical as well as supplemental insurance plans. Now, if you guys have questions, concerns, 
Would you please email me at the NGAH training at NGIC.com and I will be more than happy to get you a copy of this presentation. So thank you guys. Again, I appreciate you being here. Have a great remainder of your day. See you next time.